Hey there folks, this is the Scottsdale Travel Chick to give you my review of the Doubletree Hotel by Hilton in Jersey City, New Jersey. Just a short hop across the Hudson River from downtown Manhattan. As I mentioned, the Doubletree is located in Jersey City, which is about a 30 minute or $25 Uber ride from the Newark Airport. The hotel is close to the waterfront as well as right next to the Newport Mall. It's New Jersey's largest. In terms of getting into the city, the hotel has an easy access to the city by way of a PATH station, aka this is their subway. It's about a five minute walk away as well as the New York Waterway Ferry, which is about a 10 minute walk away. So this is our New York Waterway Ferry, Battery Park. our ferry boat inside. Very nice. We have an upstairs you can go outside. But you don't have to head into the city to have fun. Actually, Jersey City has a really nice up and coming nightlife area centered around Newark Avenue. And it's worth checking out. It's only an eight minute walk from the hotel. Lastly, Jersey City also has a pretty nice one and a half mile Hudson River waterfront walk, which also has a few monuments to check out and probably the best view anywhere of the Manhattan skyline. It's also worth the time to check this out. The hotel is a pretty typical double tree design in the downtown business area of Jersey City we visited during the final week of COVID precautions. So unfortunately, all the F&B options as well as the gym were closed and it was dark. That gave the hotel a kind of a dingy feeling when you entered, but I expect it's much better once things are open and operating normally. As you enter the hotel lobby, you will notice a moderate sized sitting area. Directly in front of you and to the left is the bar and restaurant area. The check-in desk is to your right, and I have to say that every employee at the hotel was extremely nice and well-informed of the area, and they could tell you how to take a bus, train, or boat into New York City. There's a lobby bar and restaurant called the Hudson Grill and Bar. It looks like it would be a nice place, but as I mentioned before, we can't really comment on it as it was closed due to COVID. Reviews on Google give some pretty positive comments, so it's probably worth it once it opens up again. In terms of Hilton Honor Benefit, the hotel does offer a $10 per person credit for gold and diamond members to grab whatever snacks from their market area, which was plenty. The property does not have a pool and the gym itself was closed due to COVID. Here are the pictures I found on the internet. The staff wouldn't let us in, but it seems like a relatively small space, probably below the typical Doubletree brand level. Okay, now let's talk about the rooms. This hotel is an all suites hotel, so it's nice if you have a large family. From a two double bed suite with a pull out sofa to a king size bed with a sofa bed. We were upgraded to a king suite facing the Hudson River. It was a reasonable size but had relatively small window. And then there was a big wall that separated the living room from the bedroom area. This made the whole place feel rather dark unfortunately. There were just a few lamps, but the bulbs were underpowered and didn't help much. Also, we did notice that the couch was quite worn out. And if you try to sit on it, you sink towards the middle. If you can, be sure to ask for a room facing the Hudson. The views are slightly obscured with some buildings, but you do get a great view into Manhattan. The bathroom was pretty small and you couldn't really have two people in there at one time. And the sink itself was somewhat small, especially if you and your partner 
Expect to load up with lots of your personal care stuff. On a workspace and functionality basis, our room had a large desk area but facing the wall with no view. The Wi-Fi was easy to connect and speeds were reasonable. Unfortunately, the USB connections were basically non-existent. We find unacceptable. Why remodel the rooms and not put USB in the lamps beside the bed or on the desk? On the plus side, there was a larger size fridge and a microwave. Okay, now let's give this my Scottsdale Travel Chick score. Overall, I like the location of the hotel. It's a quick walk to the subway, the waterfront, the mall, and lots of local dining options. But I feel like that they could have done a much better job on this remodel of the rooms by making them lighter and with better USB connectivity. I can't really speak of the bar and restaurant as it was closed, but it does look like a place we'd like to try out, and we'd enjoy spending time in there if it was open. The staff were extremely friendly, and that is a huge plus. Overall, I give the Hilton Doubletree Jersey City a seven out of 10 score. We will likely stay here again, after the COVID restrictions have been lifted. Thanks for watching. If you are enjoying our informative travel videos and hotel reviews, we'd really appreciate subscribing and giving us a thumbs up. Until next time, see you later.